believe it or not, I'm actually in a good mood. I just finished a really good workout. Now this was actually like one of the hardest workouts I've done in a while. And it was like a glute focused workout. It was rough. We did like Bulgarian split squats. We did hip thrusts. We did leg press. We did step ups into a back lunge. I complained the entire time, but I'm like super glad that we did it. Here's the thing with me. I will complain throughout an entire workout, but I absolutely love it. I will request workouts like that all the time. I don't even know how this got in my purse. This is the Naturium Phytoglow Lip Balm in the shade Latte. I actually just included this in one of my videos for Vlogmas talking about five of my all-time favorite lip products. This is just super hydrating. I am, believe it or not, super exhausted. I do have a pretty fun agenda today though. Right now I am heading home. As usual, I'm just gonna make a yummy breakfast. I am gonna just have my loaded oatmeal and egg whites. That's what I've been having. And like I said, I've really just been enjoying it. I think I'm gonna make a cup of cinnamon tea as well. So I can just kind of sit, relax and have some tea with my breakfast. There's something about those like warm drinks that just make your soul feel nice and toasty warm. Hopefully you guys understand the feeling I am trying to convey with my words. I do have a hair appointment today, which I'm really excited about. I was supposed to go last week. If you guys remember, I talked about it in one of the Vlogmas videos. We ended up bumping it to today. I have it scheduled for a color and cut. I just really want my hair to be like less brassy. It's a little too warm. I'm not the biggest fan of like the way that the highlights are. I've never really been like the biggest fan of highlights on myself. I've always just preferred to have like a solid color. I'm gonna try to go a little bit lighter, a little bit cooler, but I know that if you go a little bit cool, sometimes it can look a bit dark. Hopefully we can get that like perfect sweet spot, the, the in-between sweet spot. My hair is so long. It is almost down to my butt again, which I personally like love having long hair. I don't really style my hair a lot, but I like having the option to. I just get really lazy with it, so that's why it's back and brushed away from my face 99% of the time. That's why some days I just want to cut my hair so it's a bit shorter, but I know that I would regret that instantly, and I just think I look better with long hair. Let me know what you guys think. Quite a few years ago, my hair used to be like pitch black, so when I would go to the salon, I would just get pitch black, sometimes black with like a hint of blue, and I absolutely loved it. Like I loved the way my hair looked, but looking back at pictures of myself, it just kind of like washed me out. It didn't look the best. At the time, I didn't really know how to do my makeup either, so I was wearing the lightest foundation foundation shade possible with like AVH dip brow in the shade like ebony. I didn't wear blush, just bronzer, thick black eyeliner, a disaster. I will have to show you guys pictures of that someday. If you scroll far enough back though on my Instagram, you'll be able to see some of that wonderful makeup that I used to wear a few years ago. But I really do miss just like going to the salon and being like, okay, dye my hair black because it's so easy. You know, you don't have to worry about it getting brassy. The only thing you have to worry about is like the roots coming in and I already have darker hair. So it was like not even that noticeable when it did happen. I don't think I can pull it off anymore. I just feel like it would just wash me out too much and just be a little too harsh on me. I just think I look better with like lighter and cooler toned brown hair or like a couture brown. I like the couture brown, but again, I'm just not obsessed with that warmth right now. So I'm looking forward to that, but that appointment's not until like, I think it's at 2.45, unfortunately, and it's only 9 a.m. right now. That gives me a little bit of time to go home and film some content, which is nice. I'm also gonna do a little photo shoot with my dad. We're gonna shoot right after I get my hair done, which will be nice. I don't have to worry about styling my hair. And I also already pulled out some clothes that I would like to wear for the shoot last night. I was really excited because I was going through my room and my closet and everything because I could never find anything to wear. I'm sure that's relatable. I was actually surprised because I was like forgetting that I had like most of the things that I found. Happy to report I have things to wear for the photo shoot today so I won't have a little baby breakdown over I don't have anything to wear. Oh, I'm not really sure how I want to do my makeup though. I kind of want to do like a soft glam moment. I'm thinking maybe something like a little smoky, like a smoky eyeliner, but still make it look really natural. I think I want to do like black and white photos. Every single time I shoot with my dad, every time I have an event to go to, I'm constantly wearing like the same version of an outfit. I'm always like a blazer and pants kind of gal. It will always be one of my favorite fits, one of my favorite silhouettes, and I will never stop buying blazers and wearing them, but I want to like try to challenge myself and not wear one for the photo shoot today because it's so hard for me to not just like throw a blazer on. Ooh, I'm wearing a cute little bra top, throw a blazer on. Oh, I don't want to wear anything underneath it, but I want that cute V look, throw a blazer on. Most of my photos, I just wear blazers. And again, I love them. It's okay to love what you love, but I'm just going to try to challenge myself and step outside of my comfort zone 
zone and maybe just wear something that I normally wouldn't go for. Maybe something that wouldn't be like my first choice. I know that my hair will probably take like an hour, an hour and a half. I know we probably won't be shooting until like after four o'clock. I'm really excited to bring you guys with me though because I really do love getting my hair done. It's really relaxing. I love my hairstylist so much. We have such great conversations. Obviously I love shooting with my dad and we like, I realized this a few weeks ago. We have not done like photos together in weeks. I don't know if you guys saw on TikTok and like Instagram and everything and shorts, but I was a part of a milk makeup campaign a few months ago. It was my very first campaign that I was a part of and it was just like a freaking dream come true. Like a dream come true. And milk makeup is one of my favorite brands that I've loved for so long. So it was such a like a full circle moment for me, but that was months ago. And my dad and I haven't done a photo shoot together since like before that. So I was like, dad, do you want to shoot today? Because like I'm getting my hair done. I'm excited to spend time with him and to just like create. It's, it's really fun. And it's, it's kind of funny too, because I'm sure he gets so sick of me sometimes because he'll show me a photo and I'll be like, mm, I don't like that. And then he'll, he'll do the photo. And then a few days later I'll be like, oh yeah, no, I like that. And I'll post it on Instagram. But it's like, I feel like I always have to say no first. I don't like try to, it's not like an intentional thing. It's just like what I do. <laughs> I just like see myself in some photos and I'm like, mm, I don't think I look good there. And then I end up liking the photo. I just feel like I have to like let it simmer. <laughs> it doesn't make any sense whatsoever, but it is what it is. I just am going to shut my mouth because my dad knows what he's doing and I'm obviously gonna do the best I can and we're just gonna be creative together. My dad has a YouTube channel too if you guys wanna check it out. He does a lot of like photography content. It is just John Casco. He is actually almost at 10,000 subscribers which is insane. He has really cool shoots too like even if you're not a photographer like even if you are just a fan of photography or if you love getting photos done or if you love modeling anything like that or if you just want entertainment like I love watching his videos because they're like behind the scenes of photo shoots and it's just really cool to see how they come together how they are created and to see how he works with models and to just see the finished result of the photos it really is like just super entertaining and he's really like real and authentic and honest in his content I mean he's like that in real life too though I am his daughter I very much do enjoy his his content but definitely check it out there will definitely be a video of the shoot on his YouTube channel from today and I will be filming as well so I'm gonna bring you guys with me but I'm excited because we're both my dad and I are both gonna be YouTube Hey guys, little update. I'm actually gonna go get my hair done now. My stylist had a cancellation, so I am rushing over to the salon, safely of course, to get my hair done a little bit early. I'm not entirely sure today if my dad and I are still gonna do our photo shoot because I just kind of like rushed out of the house, threw on whatever I could. I wanted to like have my makeup done for the shoot and I didn't even like bring any clothes. So I'm in a sweatsuit right now. So we might have to like reschedule that. We were both looking forward to it though. So we'll probably do it like this weekend, if not today. I mean, we could probably still shoot like a few photos in the studio, but honestly, I'm so thankful that there has been a little bit of a cancellation because I have so much work to get done at the house today. And the hair appointment, like I said, wasn't until later this afternoon. And I'm usually there for like an hour, hour and a half. So I'm glad that I'm able to get in now and get it done. Part of me also wants to just kind of chop it off and have that haircut too. But I think I would look like Lord Farquaad and I don't think I could pull it off. And I know I would instantly have regrets with like the short hair. I need to put on some like lip balm or something though because my lips are just chapped and dry and crusty. But I was gonna bring my laptop to edit content, but instead I ended up just bringing my Kindle. I'm gonna try to do a little bit of reading while I'm there, just waiting. I'm reading Powerless right now by Lauren Roberts. I'm only on page probably like 10, so I'm still really early on. I'm also reading the Akatar series right now now at the same time. I'm not entirely sure if I'm going to continue Powerless after I pick up the Akatar series again because that series just kind of sucks me in. It's like my favorite of all time. I'm about to finish A Court of Mist and Fury. I have like maybe 50 pages left, but I've been pushing off finishing that book for months now because it's so darn good. That's the kind of book that sucks me in so much that I literally don't get anything done when I read that because I'm so like in that world and I'm so in love with it. So I kind of took a break from it for a few months because I really was just being super unproductive and like I've like literally been stuck in Akatar. So if you're a reader though, I'm sure that you understand the power that your favorite books have over you. I feel like there are like 16 books I wanna read all at the same time. Do you guys like read multiple books at once or do you just like to stick with one at a time? I usually like to stick with one at a time. Since I started getting into fantasy romance, like I haven't really wanted to pick up any like 
regular romance books because I just kind of get bored with them. I'm really glad that I fell back in love with fantasy this year and I just have been kind of expanding and growing my palette when it comes to reading. Looking at it now, I definitely like see the warmth. Should I see how long it is though? Like, it's all the way down here. I like it at times and then sometimes like I don't. is a good look. I'm just waiting for these to be taken out and then we're gonna wash the hair, do a little trim. I don't even think we're gonna style it though because I am just gonna go home after this. So I told you, don't even worry about styling it. So we'll have to style it ourselves later on. This is what we're working with. I'm not sure if Gia is going to put a toner on after this. That's what she's usually been doing the past couple times that we've been here. I put a video up on TikTok and Instagram though asking you guys what you think about me chopping the hair off. like right there. I can't do it. I know I would literally have a breakdown five minutes after. I can't wait to eat. I'm so hungry. The debate to get takeout. An apple walnut salad sounds so good with like a scoop of chicken salad, but no. I don't know how much longer I have with the foils. Let's take a little trip over to the studio. You're so sweet. Never got She's to cut short, sweet. have you? Never got to cut short, did you? No, only when I was like in fifth grade and it looked awful. <laughs> well, that's because you were in fifth grade. That's true. It was my awkward <laughs> it was my awkward phase with a bob and bang, so <laughs> Oh I does it look crazy? Oh yeah. Oh wow. Yeah, that's that's a tone, yeah. Don't get scared. Ooh, wow. That is bleach. Wow. Pretty or blood. Just leave it like that for a day. The life of a content creator. <laughs> I was gonna say, look at you. <laughs> wow, wow. <laughs> That's frightening. Did you guys ever happen to see those videos of like they put a little GoPro or something like that on a cat's collar? Oh yeah. And then you can see what it's doing all day. Yeah, I've seen that is before. That what it is? Is it a GoPro? Because I don't know. He's like, Mom, I want you to get that for the cats. And I'm like, okay, uh, I don't know what it is. Oh, hamsters are one. fun. Oh, I think it's gonna be hilarious. Oh, hamsters are a lot of fun. I know. Don't get two though. Ours had babies and no. then we had a bunch of them. Just leave it like this for a day. I wouldn't mind experiencing this for a day. We're gonna be blocked for a day. <laughs> That's intense. Hi. <laughs> You're so good at that. <laughs> it's so relaxing. I'm not gonna lie though, like I miss coming in here and with like when I was doing like the black hair dye mm -hmm. and it would just be pitch black, it'd be so easy. I'd be like, okay, dye my whole head as dark as you can make it with a hint of blue. I mean, it looked, I looked like crap with it, but the hair looked great. I just wish I could rock that again. Oh my God, it was like such a freaking idiot right now. It does look pretty though. I love hormonal acne, it's great. <laughs> Thanks, Kia. Love you. I think she's highlighted enough. Yay! I love it. It looks really good. I love you. I love you. Hi. Hi. That's pretty. We're gonna do a little photo shoot, but not the way that we originally planned because we came to the salon a little bit earlier than expected, which is good because then I would have been here super late if I didn't. So everything worked out.
kind of love that light. Uh, that's a pretty pissed off face. <laughs> Give me more hair on the backside. I mean the backside towards me. No, that was the front side. <laughs> the backside would be the one away from me. Well, that was that was a moment. <laughs> <laughs> but these are stunning. Like they're gorgeous. You're gonna blazer at the top and they're like all my I see Nike sweats. <laughs> that was that photo. Cute. My yellow belt's showing. What was she doing? Now I don't know how to get out. <laughs> Do you need help? <laughs> so we have nothing to wear, so basically we're just trying to play with whatever's in the studio and make it work somehow. Be carefree. Adrian, the fragrance. <laughs> it's miraculous. Uh, isn't that Daisy Daisy Daisy? Just throw your hair around. You don't need to. Get those tops. <laughs> Not like that. What's your hands? You said to toss it. No, I mean like just a little head so flip. I gotta grab it. I mean just a head flip. That was a good shoot. That was a lot of fun. Yeah, that was really good. That was a lot of fun. It's always the shoots that you think aren't gonna be like great that end up being the best. This was actually, oh shit, you killed it. We killed it, yeah. I still think it's because of Mother Taylor playing in the background. No, I know. don't call her that. This is gonna be my favorite vlog so far, I think. This one and the Christmas shopping one with this mom. Be a great one. This is gonna be a really good video. I hope it's gonna be a good video. Thank you guys for watching!